ni gado cia mwanya na turagithi na mbere na tufarira ya rekio mago inire ya koneka mwagi deji na mudhani wa mwudhi toko tukire na mwgeni ku makore ya wadi ya mwe hoko mwudhuli ogwe to kana mwe shimiwa wilfred kiara mwenda na weto huko tuwe nake mwana mwakili ya tuti huko tukiru nga shigi yutetio na utika na watu huki hutia o hanini na wama igi marezi marezi to huko tuki mwreka mwudhani wa mwudhi ni shigi maini na githo mwkili likani yate kigira niyo ni kira ikoli yogita gado na mwana mwakili ya mwere ya to huko tuki mwreka ni ni uhoro wa uishoka dhukuru wa rutuwa meo kwa maishoka liya dhukuru mudhanya wa mwude agi mudhanya wa arushio wiki eno yode ni ya rutuwa uishoka dhukuru tuke menya maashoka dhukuru meo kuro maishoka na ajire haa nati ya uniformu ni maagoli ya naria na umarole teko igira dhini wakira dhige formu anule na maayo kuro makirona nako ashiyali meha alire ili yate ya mashio mwude nzo kwa tuke marika hii kowe na kiulia yode kegi maini na shukuru uishoko kana kwa igira dhini wakira dhige formu anu na yuko tumira mawani mwaku kegira na baitu ni okifugu mwagwa ja emwe keda mwagwa ja idhazatu mwagwa ja mwagwa ja idhazatu mwagwa ja kana kurego facebook wega tv ke i ando kani ganero nego kira iki page yo ito karibu sana mwashimiwa thank you thank you kithenji yes asandi sana ntuke nete yeo kinya tukumore kesi yege githo omu na wabere wabe 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 Uh, mheshimiwa nominated na chama ya UDA uh, kule Moyoko Ward in Ruiru uh, sub county Kiambu county. Uh, Mwirole mw ni ndago igaithia wi mwega. Yes. Mugaithia na kemeri. Mwige ni puli bega. Mwige ni kaili. Eh hiyo ndio kimeru kwa pande tukienda pande ile nyingine ya mlima. Yes. Ni vizuri sana na karibu sana. Tuanze kwanza uli feel aje after sasa ume win ama umeshinda tikiti ya chama cha nini kusema kweli it's a, it's a very fulfilling kind of feeling mm -hmm. wakati ume, umeshinda kwa sababu kinyanganyiro chochote huwa si, si rahisi mm -hmm. so wakati nilipata ni, ni ujumbe ya kwamba kosa afta kupiga kura mimi nirudi kwangu mm -hmm. nikaangojea wakilishi wangu pale kwa kwa tali kwa kuhesabia kura na kupigia mm -hmm. kura mm -hmm. ili wanipigie waniambie kumeenda aje they kept on briefing me mm -hmm. na wakati nilipata information kuwa nimeshinda mm -hmm. i was very very happy i was very nilifurahi sana mm -hmm. na na kwa hivyo nikawa na shukrani nyingi sana kwa sababu watu wa Moyoko kwa kujitokeza mm. kunipigia kura mm. kwa hivyo nilifurahi sana na kuna wengine ambao wanasema kwamba labda eh, nominations azikwenda na njia ambayo inafaa wengine nasikia wanasema walibiwa wengine wana teta kusema kulikuwa na bribery labda Moyoko mambo yalikuwa namna gani uh, kusema kweli the, the lessons are witnesses uko Moyoko it was the best kind of scenario mm -hmm. hakukuwa na issue ya bribery mm -hmm. hakukuwa na issue ya corruption yoyote mm -hmm. kwa hivyo siwezi sema kuna kura yangu hata moja mm -hmm. iliibiwa mm -hmm. ama watu wangu wakaiba kura yote mm -hmm. uh, kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeita hata watu wa media mm -hmm. kuja kushuhudia mm -hmm. uh, especially kuna tv nyingine inaitwa kuna njata kuna KBC mm -hmm. au watu they were represented KBC is a national tv na they were there they, they saw what was happening kwa hivyo Moyoko is pokuwa the only problem vile kupiga kura kulianza kuchelewa tulikuwa tumejipanga sana ili tuanzie kupiga kura saa 12 za moja latest but uh, ile kupiga kura ilianzia uh, around saa sita na nusu huko mm -hmm. kwa hivyo watu walikuwa wamekaa wamechoka wengi wameenda uh, there was low turnout ya, ya voters mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya kuchelewa but there was nothing like corruption or wizi wa kura hakuna mm -hmm. yes na kuhusiana na kitu inaitwa low turnout ambao umetaja uh, kuna watu wamekuwa wakisema kutakuwa na vota hapa hata kwa uchaguzi mkuu haswa katika mlima Kenya naongelea kuhusiana na Kikuyu, wa Meru, wa Embu na pia wakamba kuna kuna kunasemekana kwamba kutawali watu hawatajitokeza kwa sababu hawajatosheka. Unadhani ni kitu ambacho kitajitokeza labda? Ah, uh, sidhani ni ukweli mm -hmm. kwa sababu watu wale walikuwa wamejitokeza hiyo siku asubuhi. Mm -hmm. They were in thousands pale Moyoko Primary School mm -hmm. pale kule zilikuwa zinapigiwa. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing ni serikali kama itaiweka public holiday hiyo siku ya kupiga kura. Mm -hmm. Definitely watu watatokea kwa wingi kama miaka ile ingine vile kumekuwa. Mm -hmm. The issue of all vota hapa this is the, the nini kitu itatokea kwa sababu we saw that morning mm -hmm. people watu walikuwa wamejaa isipokuwa after kuchelewa sana watu wali, mm -hmm. walikuwa natoka kwa sababu ya kwenda kazi zingine na shughuli zao za kimaisha mm -hmm. yes uh, 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 tukiongelea kuhusiana na taifa la Kenya sasa hizi tuna majonzi kwa sababu yeah. ya kuachwa na aliyekuwa rais wa tatu wa, 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 wa taifa letu ya Kenya yes. Mwai Kibaki nataka yes. kutuambia labda unakumbuka nini kuhusiana na Mwai Kibaki labda uh, kuhusiana na kabla tuingie katika uh, yale ambao wamegusia katika masomo yes. labda kijumla unamkumbuka una, una rais Well, Rais Kibaki tunazunika sana kwa sababu ya kutuacha. 
still tunasema he was the best president mm -hmm. we've experienced mm -hmm. tumeona utawala wa Moi tumeona utawala wake tumeona utawala ulioko sasa mm -hmm. uh, hata ingawa tuna experience wengine wetu ya kuhusu mzee Jomo Kenyatta mm -hmm. but uh, kibaki amesaidia nchi sana mm -hmm. uh, mimi nilipitia utawala wa rais Moi wa huyu wakati ndio nilikuwa shule mm -hmm. uh, mwanzo 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 mapema miaka ya early 80s tulikuwa tuna, tuna the education was very good mm -hmm. ni kama venye iko saa hivi kwa mfano mm -hmm. kwa sababu tulikuwa tunafaa tunapata kalamu za kuandika shule free mm -hmm. exercise books free textbooks free ikakuja wakati wa moyo hizo vitu zote zikakosa mm -hmm. ukawa ni mzazi akunulie vitabu kila kitu huyo provided na mzazi uh, tuliteseka sana hiyo miaka ya moyo mm -hmm. uh, mpaka wakati kibaki amekuja kibaki ndiye amekuja naye wakati amekuja ni watoto wetu wamekuja kusaidia si tulikuwa wale, wale those who lost it they lost it mm -hmm. lakini wakati wa kibaki amekuja amesaidia watoto wetu shule ikawa imerudi vile ilikuwa nyakati zile za mbeleni hakuna mm -hmm. uh, mambo ya vitabu kalamu anapewa shuleni almost everything mm -hmm. uh, mpaka sasa hii kwanza chakula anapewa miaka ile ni maziwa tulikuwa tunajua maziwa mm -hmm. ya nyayo mm -hmm. lakini sasa wakati wa kibaki mm -hmm. at least kuna chakula mm -hmm. kwa hivyo mtoto yote mwenye azi afford chakula nyumbani mm -hmm. uh, kupitia kwa wazazi at least ako motivated kuenda shule kwa sababu anajua nitasoma na nitakula so kibaki amesaidia mambo ya masomo sana na hata university education unaona during kibaki's time do you may expand mm -hmm. do you know very many universities zimefunguliwa Uh, so he did very excellent well ni mzee wa heshima sana mm -hmm. mwenye tutaishi kukumbuka katika ile tafiti fala ile Kenya mm -hmm. yes na kuna uhusiano na ukiangalia Mohi Kibaki alileta free primary education yes. labda hii imesaidia vipi watu wengi kuwa wameingia katika masomo uh, ambao labda hawangekuwa na uwezo wa kuingia katika shule hiyo amesaidia sana mm -hmm. sana sana it's you it, it, hata sidhani mtu anaweza sema ni kwa sababu mm -hmm. sure enough you can imagine kununua kitabu how much it costs mm -hmm lakini unaona kitabu ile kitabu one textbook unapata ni 500 700 or more mm -hmm. think of something like dictionary kamusi is na hizo vitu zote the government is providing mm -hmm. kwa public schools mm -hmm. uh, amesaidia sana 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 watu wale wange afford mm -hmm. wale angalia saa hii hata mitiani kwa wakati imetoka kama hii ya form 4 unapata a poor day secondary school back in the village unapata mtoto amechomoka pale mm -hmm. amefanya ame vizuri sana kwa nini because resources ziko available huko mm -hmm. mashinani kwenye hazikuwa mbeleni so for sure imesaidia sana zaidi mm -hmm. yes na kuna watu wanasema kwa kikuu nasikia wakisema egana go yari iria yakuwa mm -hmm. watu wanasema ngombe ilikuwa mzuri after ime pass mm -hmm. uh, utuambie labda kwa sababu saa hizi unaona watu wanasema president huru ki uh, mwigei wa kenyata ni mbaya na, na tulikuwa tunaona haya wakati wa utawala wa moi tukaona mm -hmm. wakati wa utawala wa kibaki lakini wakati alitoka kwa uh, uongozi kaanza kuimba kibaki kibaki alikuwa mm -hmm. mzuri kibaki mm -hmm. ni kitu ambacho labda wa Kenya watakuja ku, uh, ku, kujirudia uh, kuhusiana na uh, uhuru mwingine wa Kenya hata hebu niseme hivi mm -hmm. ni vizuri kwa to give credit where it is due mm -hmm. kama mtu amefanya vizuri sema amefanya vizuri mm -hmm. hatuwezi sema uhuru amefanya kila kitu vibaya mm -hmm. for sure uhuru as Uh, ameendeleza ame ile mwenendo wa kibaki to a great extent mm -hmm. hata kama kuna shida hapa na pale but kusema ukweli angalia barabara Yes mm -hmm. uh, amejenga mabarabara mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. in fact including my rural village hiyo mm -hmm. barabara hata kama imesimama kiasi mm -hmm. ilikuwa im, iwekwe rami mm -hmm. uh, but still nitaomba hata kama anaenda kutoka mm -hmm. tafadhali hizo projects ziendelee because um, lizaliwa kule meru mm -hmm. na kwangu nyumbani ush, kule shags kabisa unapata kuna njia hijawahi kulimo ilikuwa anga shida mm -hmm. sasa ilikuwa iwekwe rami mm -hmm. matenga tenga ilikuwa amekuwa mobilized kaenda pale but naambiwa kazi imesimama haijaanza mm -hmm. we are afraid uende isiendelee juu wakati wake unaenda kufika ukingoni lakini the truth of the matter is kazi amefanya mm -hmm. watu wache unnecessary criticism kama mtu amefanya kazi sema amefanya mm -hmm. hata ingawa tuseme uchumi umeharibika ume kiasi maybe because of overboring kuomba excess hiyo mm -hmm. ndio inaweza kuwa shida kubwa ile imefanyika because tunajua by the way <laughs> I'm an economist by study as much as me ni mwalimu mm -hmm. I did economics and business studies mm -hmm. so hali ya uchumi inaelewa zaidi kwa hivyo sio kuwa ati kuomba ni vibaya in fact in economics huwa tunasema um, a good budget is a deficit one mm -hmm. ni ile haina haina eh, surplus kwa sababu ni kuonyesha you are using resources vizuri mpaka unaomba kuendeleza mm -hmm. uh, hali ya uchumi the only problem kuwa uombe baadaye uinvest unatumia vibaya or it goes to corruption hiyo ndio shida ile inaweza kuwa but uhuru amefanya kazi especially infrastructure 
siwezi kusema hajafanya mm-hmm. isipokuwa hizo pesa zimekuwa zikiombwa zimeenda kwa matumizi ifayo yote ama maybe 75% imetumika kwa development alafu zingine zimeenda kwa mifuko ya watu wengine uh, kama vile unakumbuka mambo ya kemsa mm-hmm. a lot of money was lost so hizo loopholes kama hizo ndizo hizo ndizo na tent administration yake but for sure uh, kwangu nikiangalia uh, uhuru amefanya kazi to a great extent huku natoka muhoko mm-hmm. nikiingia muhoko uh, miaka ya 2000 hakukua na lami incheta moja one inch hakuna saa hii we are boasting of muhoko kuwa iko na tamak main roads zimekuwa tamaked isipokuwa kuna maeneo mengine bado hatujafikiwa na kwa tumeambiwa hizo njia zinaenda kutengenezwa kama nyingine anapitia muhoko secondary pande hiyo ni mbaya negrated inakaa kama third world country ile so we are moving to once a developed country yeah. eneo kama hilo eh, baraka kama hiyo ningeomba serikali jumu uhuru mwigai amefanya kazi tafadhali can you mobilize uh, the resources or the contractors wamepewa wame ile barabara ili waweze kumalizia mm-hmm. saa hii nikikuja sijapita njia tunaita 160 kutoka Moyoko mm-hmm. kwa sababu kuna ndaraja pale mm-hmm. yenye ilikuwa ikijengwa imesimama for several months nothing is happening ile barabara sawa tumewekewa alami no drainage mm-hmm. uh, tukiuliza tunaambiwa serikali haijatoa pesa have asked the contractor mwenyako pale have asked the, the resident engineer mwenyako pale anasema hawa watu ni kwa sababu Uh, hawajalipwa pesa mm-hmm. sasa hapo ndiko kuna ingia itarafu kidogo tafadhali serikali ya uhuru ninge ninge muomba <laughs> kama analisikiza hapa tafadhali mm-hmm. ile barabara watu hata saa hii asubuhi watu wananchi wamelauka kuniambia mm-hmm. na ukienda usisahau daraja ya 160 mm-hmm. for sure hakuna kwa kupitia pale juu je ile the, the, the diversion ni njia nyembamba hata tunaogopa wakati mwingine gari kuteleza kuingia kwa kwa mto mm-hmm. so wakiweza kuja kumalizia zile projects kabla ya ajaondoka akishe his legacy is well safeguarded kupitia kumaliza zile projects mwako nimesema kuna hiyo daraja hizo uh, barabara haijamalizwa haijawekwa drainage vizuri uh, hata hii full gospel road uki, ukienda sasa hivi yenye kumenyesha imefungana hivi where is the county government na kutoa zile takataka zimna zinaziba mitaro uh, mwako second watu wa 46 pande ile i want to tell you it's a forgotten world barabara hazitengenezwi uh, no, watch out tamak road hata kulima kwa kawaida mm-hmm tutakuja hapo mheshimiwa na yes. pia ndio kuita siku nyingine yes. ili tumulike mwihoko wada yes. tutaipeleka wapi yes. uh, as the MCA incoming MCA yes. na sasa nataka tumulike kuhusiana na masomo zaidi yes. hebu niambie kwanza umesema kwamba ni mwalimu wewe ni mwalimu wapi na kwamba kwa, kwa kwamba una shule shule yako ni gani na labda mipango yako ni ipi wakati ambapo tunapanga labda watu kurejea katika shule Thank you very much. Um, mimi ni by training, mm-hmm. I trained as a teacher in the University of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Nikafanya economics and business studies. Mm-hmm. Miaka hiyo kulikuwa na economics ilikuwa inafunzwa kando na business studies ilikuwa inakufunzwa kando. Mm-hmm. So I trained in that line. Mm-hmm. Uh, nikafanya kazi kwa private sector, nikaingia kwa serikali kidogo nikatoka ndio nikaweza kujiajiri kupitia shule na na na, 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 na pale moyo inaitwa Nairobi Tumaini High School. It is uh, boys boarding na girls boarding. Kuna two sections mm-hmm. ya girls boarding na boys sec- uh, boarding section mm-hmm. yenye tuna separate sahi tuliazia last year for months the boys wanasoma kando mm-hmm. form na girls then the incoming group yenye nakuja uh, e coming Thursday 28th our four months wana report on Thursday mm-hmm. uh, 28th uh, boys wana wanakuwa na their own classes girls their own classes and their own separate dorms mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio shule ile mini director wa ile shule mm-hmm. na kwa sababu ya wakati nikuja pale mwehoko kulikuwa na in fact uh, mwehoko secondary school ndio ilikuwa inaanza in that world hakukuwa na shule nyingine isipokuwa kulikuwa na kiriri girls peke yake so i came to give alternative uh, solution kwa watu wa mwehoko um, so nikakuja pale nikaanzisha hiyo shule uh, the year 2014 uh, b- before that from 2010 tulikuwa tuna offer tuition uh, services kwa wananchi but tukaona there is need of uh, secondary school ndio nikaanza kuanzisha uh, ile shule pale imesaidia wananchi sana uh, watoto wao wakati tu angekuja board day school ile isipokuwa baadaye tuliifanya ikakuwa purely boarding mm-hmm. juu ya challenges ya day school zile zinapatikana in rural constituency can mm-hmm. you imagine there is no single boarding secondary school ya serikali loilo 
sub county yeah. hakuna hata moja ni sahihi wanajaribu maybe one wamejaribu wanaweka hilo hilo girls kwa boarding i think they, they could have started last year uh, so i came to offer as alternatives uh, or solution mm -hmm. to the problem yalikuwa kwa watu wa Ruilo generally na Kenya kwa jumla mm -hmm. watoto unapata wanatoka mbali mbali unatoka Mombasa wanatoka Kisumu wanatoka Meru hii Nairobi is uh, our stronghold in terms of our students mm -hmm. so that is what i do uh, pale tumaini high school in Mwako Hebu tumulike hao vijana na wasichana ambao umesema kwamba watakuwa kiingia katika shule yako uh, siku ya Thursday. Yes. Kitu ambacho na, na watu wengi na wazazi wengi wanakuwa kijiuliza ni kwamba wanaambiwa wanunue uniforms kwa specific uh, uh, merchandises. Yes. Unapata kwamba wameambiwa kama hutanunua uniform wa fulani mm -hmm. uh, usikuja shule. Yes. Na pia kuna branding. Unapata yes. kwamba amenunua uniform lakini pia anaambiwa utafanyio branding labda shule mm -hmm. ata fee. Yes. Uh, hii maneno tutaimaliza vipi na tuhakikishe kwamba labda hata mimi kama ni, ni na mtoto ambaye labda hana uwezo wa kununua zile uh, uniform ambazo labda umemwambia la, na lazima zibrandiwe mahali fulani. Yes. Tutamsaidia vipi ili ya kwamba I feel accommodated. Thank you. Um, this is a challenge kwa mashule. Mm. Na is the same as uh, tuseme police officers wenye unapata pale kwa barabara. Mm -hmm. Utalaji police officer ajifanyie clowning of his own uniforms. Mm -hmm. Inavaa kufanywa na serikali. Mm -hmm. Nazo shule, sawa, tunajua kuna shule zina take advantage. Mm -hmm. Zina overcharge. Like I'm told, kuna shule unapata uniform peke yake inaenda 18,000. Kuna shindo 18,000 uniform. Mm -hmm. Kwa ni it's made of words. Uh, you do shida ile branding na kuambiwa nunua pale fulani is not the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem ama shida ni kuwa unapata administration ya shule inaigeuza kuwa biashara baada ya kuona wanataka kusaidia watoto wakuja wasome. Mm -hmm. Tutasema kwa mfano hata pale tumaini ya high school Nairobi tumaini ya high school mm -hmm. sawa huwa tunapea a given contractor kazi ya kutengeneza uniform na branding. Mm -hmm. Na tuseme kama sasa mzazi akisema mimi nataka kujitengenezea. Mm -hmm. So long as utaenda uchukue the same logo za shule, uweke kwa ile nguo, tutakwambia sawa kama unapata pahali mm -hmm. pako pako chipa. Mm -hmm. In fact what we encourage tell us hapo kuko na uraisi ili tu, tupe huyo mtu contract mm -hmm. ya kuleta zile we make it very plain mm -hmm. kwa mitandao yetu ya shule. Mm -hmm. The problem ni kwambie ni the administration kuanza ku commercialize. For example a full school uniform iwe ni the, kama ni boys kuna two trousers two shirts two sweaters that is long sleeve na short sleeve na tie mm -hmm. na socks you can imagine tunaifanya na 5000 elf tano peke yake mm -hmm. uwe anasema boldly ukipata pahali utaweza ku provide hizo vitu nimesema two trousers for a boy two shirts two sweaters long na short tie uh, two pairs of socks ukipata pahali utaweza na hata wale wanalisikiza kama uko uko na place you can give us better quotation Then we say welcome come and give us mm -hmm. that kind of, we'll give you that business mm -hmm. and aswa kama unatoka ile ward yetu ya Moyoko i would be ready to give such a person your contract because we are looking for the uh, tunawezesha mzazi kuleta mtoto mm -hmm. si mambo ya kumkanamiza kwa biashara kwa base zenye ziko juu jana jioni kapigwa na mzazi mmoja kutoka pale Mombasa akanambia mbia ye mtoto wake anakuja Nairobi Tumaini High School Uh, lakini nimenunua kuna uniform nimenunua huko. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikamwambia ni sawa kununua lakini bora tu utakuja uchukue logo ile ya shule at your cost mm -hmm. uiweke. Kwa tu tunasema uh, uniform ni 5000. Ni pia hapa <coughs> na tuta, utapewa uniform yenye sisi tunauza tunapea mwenye tumepea contract mm -hmm. atengeneza but huwa tunamguide hatutaki exaggerated things. So uh, schools ama school administration ziache mambo ya kuvacharge wazazi. Mm -hmm. Already uchumi ni mbaya inawakadamiza. Mm -hmm. Na unakuja huku kwingine unafanya sasa turudi nyuma kule tu miaka hiyo nasema ya moi mm -hmm. watu washinde kupeleka watoto shule atuju ya uniform. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Tukiongelea <coughs> kuhusu overcharging yes. na swala ambao limezua lime, lime, lime tumbo joto kuhusu yes. na kuongezwa kwa school fees. Mm -hmm. uh, unapata kwamba hii ada ya kulipia shule imeongezwa na pia kulikuwa na mkutano uh, wali mwaku mm -hmm. uh, kule Mombasa. Yes. Kwa kusema kwamba shule inafaa kuongezwa I think 16,000. Mm -hmm. uh, labda sije mzazi alipe <coughs> 8000 na competition ya serikali 8000 siji hii swala la uh, uh, ada ya shule kuongezwa ama school fee, uh, school fees kuongezwa una, unaichukuliaje now being an administrator in a school mm -hmm. ni vizuri niseme wakati principals wamesema vile wanasema kwa sababu wanajua mm -hmm. shida iko wapi because the only alternative kama ni public schools mm -hmm. serikali iongeze mm -hmm pesa zile na pea mm -hmm. uh, that uh, head teacher you mm -hmm. can imagine umepea principal pesa yenye haitoshi na watoto wamekuja shule mm -hmm. na mtoto akikosa uh, services utasikia wimbo haki yangu na ni haki yangu yenye haijalipiwa mm -hmm. kwani nataka principal atoe pesa wapi 
So sometimes uh, even parents should mtoto wangu anasoma one of the public schools in this country. Mm -hmm. Na nikiongezwa uwe nalipa. Yes. Uh, kwa sababu nisipowezesha yule head teacher, yule principal kuweza kurun ile shule. Mm -hmm. Unatarajia afanye nini? Serikali sawa itasema imelipa but imeweza kukita for services sufficient required. Mm -hmm. The resources zile serikali imepeana hata kama tunaisifu kuwa imesaidia mm -hmm. it's not sufficient. Kwa hivyo pale kunawezekana ni vizuri kama ni wazazi kuangalia wataweza kusaidia mwalimu na mlagani because the principal should call the parents mm -hmm. the reason together let them put facts on the table waonge waone hizi pesa zinatosha kufanya ile kazi ya Qur'an shule ama hazitoshi mm -hmm. kama hazitoshi would expect uh, either the government iongeze pesa kwa public schools mm -hmm. ama wazazi wakubali there are only two options hakuna njia nyingine angalia kama sasa mm -hmm. mafuta ya, 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 ya petro tulikuwa tununua one that something mm -hmm. sasa ni one forty something mm -hmm. na shule ina magari inatumika would you expect pesa hili ilikuwa inatumika kwa mafuta hiyo ndio ile ile angalia chakula kimepanda bei mm -hmm. Are you expecting kweli wakirudi leo hii shule? Value ya chakula ile walikuwa wanatumia last time ndio itakuwa this time? Haitakuwa the same, it will be different. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it is important to understand but at the same time I would caution uh, walimu wakuu wenzangu. Ni vizuri kujua that uh, huyu mzazi ana struggle. Hivi unaona uki struggle Quran shule hata ndi wana struggle Quran family. Na sio kuwa ameongezwa mshahara mm -hmm. ati juu vitu zimepanda bei sio kuwa ameongeza profit margin at juu uh, vitu zimepanda bei mm -hmm. ni vizuri tu balance out kujua tuchunge tu, tu, tuchukue tuchunge mzazi mm -hmm. tuchunge watoto mm -hmm. ni balance out otherwise tutaumiza mzazi na mwishowe mwenye huwa anaumia ni mtoto mm -hmm. juu ndio utatuma nyumbani mm -hmm. yes kuna hizi shule za serikali public yes. school yes. umesikia kwamba hata kama school fees inaongezwa mm -hmm. wanasema kwamba si tutagawana mzazi mm -hmm. 8000 8000 tuongeze 16000 mm -hmm. unapata kwamba wao wamepewa capitation yes. uh, kwa private sector na nyinyi mnasaidiwa mm -hmm. vipi ama uh, kuna shida hapa kwa sababu itabidi na nyinyi muongeze hii fee Uh, na utapata kwamba labda school fees ya private ni kubwa kuliko ile ya public ina, ina, inakuwa ni kizingiti vipi katika kuendeleza labda uh, hali uh, pale shuleni thank you hilo mm -hmm. ni swali nzuri sana umeuliza kwa sababu uh, unimwangalia sana kuhusu public school mm -hmm. na mimi niko private school mm -hmm. ni vizuri serikali ijue tunaisaidia kufanya kazi yake mm -hmm. ni responsibility ya serikali ku provide education to its citizens mm -hmm lakini ukienda kusema kweli kwa public schools mm -hmm. wale watoto hawezi toshea kule mm -hmm. tayari ukienda kama ni darasa moja ya public school unapata hakuna shule iko na less than 60 students mm -hmm. per class mm -hmm. iwe ni second iwe primary unapata there even a 8 100 in one class mm -hmm. kuna mwako primary school iko pale niko but ukienda pale you sympathize with the situation i can bet with you hakuna mwalimu mark at vitabu ya watoto mm -hmm. kwa sababu kama watoto ni mia how do you mark So watoto wanaambia ngo badilisha nani kitabu answer ni hii mm -hmm. uh, mark for your uh, desk mm -hmm. so mwalimu can never reach to the students now niseme hivyo umeuliza kuhusu uh, sisi tunafanya namna gani mm -hmm. hali ni ngumu in private sector na hapo kidogo nitalaumu serikali because uh, ukikumbuka mwanzo serikali ilikuwa inaona kama private sector ni, ni enemy kwa public sector mm -hmm. mwanzo Atuko tunalipiwa mitiani KCSE KCP mm -hmm. kwa private schools hazikuwa zinalipwa mm -hmm. e, because of court battles serikali kakubali kuanza kulipia watoto wetu wote mm -hmm. wa private ama public uh, examination fee kama vile tulianza kufanya kutoka kesho mm -hmm. Now pahali serikali imekosea unapata textbooks mm -hmm. zenye zinapewa mtoto mwenye ako public school mm -hmm. mwenye ako private hakuna vitabu unapewa mm -hmm. Ni shule ujue kule vile uh, kule mtatoa pesa mnunulie watoto wenu vitabu ama muambie watoto wenyewe anunue wakuje nazo shule. Mm -hmm. You can imagine of the wastage. Mtoto wako kwa form 1 mwaka hii ununue vitabu. Mwaka hiyo nyingine kwa form 2 ununue vitabu. Mm -hmm. This becomes wasted resources. Serikali kan na tena ukumbuke hakuna hata wenyewe usema hakuna mtoto private. Mm -hmm. Jaribu ili ujue hakuna mtoto private umesa hapo na national exam ndio utajua huyo <laughs> mtoto hata kama ameletwa pale mm -hmm. si wako mm -hmm. is not private the government wants huyo mtoto mm -hmm. lakini the same government haikusaidii pale inafa na kumbuka we are paying taxes mm -hmm. the come in those schools umelipa license umelipa ngoja tufungue leo kanjo utaionea pale mm -hmm. uh, NHIF and water utapata wanakuja wanataka pesa mm -hmm. but ile ile tax unalipa 
serikali baadaye isaidie ku uh, kusomesha hiyo mtoto alete vitabu kama vile analeta public schools ifikie na computation hapo tunalukwa i'm and i'm challenging kipsa because of kenya private schools association mm -hmm. tafadhali we need to do something about this situation kwa sababu kwa nini tusipewe capitation kama wale wengine mm -hmm. angalia ukipita sasa kwenye school kienda university hata kama wale wamepita sasa hivi kutoka Tumaini high school mm -hmm. wakienda ene university hiyo watapewa pesa na serikali mm -hmm. lakini hapa katikati kuna gap mbona wasilipiwa hapa lakini wakienda university serikali na hata hiyo private KCA iko hapa mm -hmm. kiriri women university iko hapa mm -hmm. wale wote serikali inatuma pale inawalipia mbona isikakue the same that ukitumana ukit, watoto wakifanya mtihani kama venye wamefanya serikali ikuallocate the number ya wanafunzi wale wana, wanaweza kuokuwa accommodate in your school mm -hmm. na walipe ile capitation just like public school mm -hmm. the difference between ile serikali imelipa na ile una charge just kama hivyo unasema head teachers walikuwa nasema juzi mm -hmm. serikali ilipe hii wazazi walipe hii the same will happen mm -hmm. in private schools and will be very comfortable will be able to provide by far better quality services with what we have so ningeomba serikali ituangalie hapo yes na kuna kitu kingine huwa naangalia mm -hmm. ukiangalia private schools yes. kuna zile private school ambazo ziko na class fulani mm -hmm. ambapo kwamba hata labda wanapita kuliko labda shule zingine lakini kuna hii private schools ambazo nilikuwa naona kama kwetu kule ushago na kurwa mm -hmm. unapata kwamba hii shule mm -hmm. inachukua anga rejects mm -hmm. labda mwanafunzi amefukuzwa shule fulani labda shule ya public kama hata labda shule ya, ya private ambayo inaangalia labda maadili unapata kwamba ameambiwa waenda nyumbani lakini anaenda kwa private school unapata kwamba kuna hii notion ya kusema kwamba private schools zinaangalia anga pesa. Bora tu unalipa uh, pesa uh, school fees atutaki kujua wanafunzi anakaa vipi. Hapa na hapa tutatengeneza aje labda. Kwa hizi private school ambazo labda haziangalii maadili ya wanafunzi. Hiyo ni makosa sana for mm -hmm. any school uh, administration mm -hmm. kuwa haiangalii maadili ya mtoto. Mm -hmm. Because uko pale kutengeneza yule mtu atoke huku kutumikia wananchi akiwa a better human being. Mm -hmm. Tutasema kwa mfano pale Nairobi Tumaini High School mm huko. -hmm. Mm -hmm what we do kuhusu tabia ya mwanafunzi mm -hmm. one uh, discipline is key mm -hmm. unapata kuna mwalimu in charge of discipline mm -hmm. na si ati mwalimu akipata mtoto na makosa mm -hmm. wewe juu unataka pesa sana uwezi fanya chochote mm -hmm. kwetu kama uko indisciplined i can tell you we send student away if you don't behave mm -hmm. but before you sending away student makosa uingia public schools pia unapata kitu kidogo tu mm -hmm. hautaki kusikizwa at all kana kwamba yule mtoto ana haki mm -hmm. ana haki ya kusikizwa Uh, not because uh, ati umetajwa ulikuwa kwa ile kikundi ilikuwa inafanya hivi mm -hmm. kutajwa you have no evidence mm -hmm. unafukuza yule mtoto that's very unfair mm -hmm. mbona mtu asik it's your right to be listened to hata kama mtu ni mtoto kumbuka ako na mzazi ako na wengine wale wana, wanamsaidia kuwa pale why do you na, sana sana public school unapata inakuambia kaa nyumbani kaa nyumbani ka, mpaka uchoke uende mm -hmm. now for us we have a counseling department mm -hmm. ya kuhakikisha we are dealing with these kind of issues Personally I'm also trained as a counselor. Mm -hmm. I deal with those kind of situations. Utapata kuna issues za uh, drugs for example. Wanafunzi wa kilipot leo na wazazi kule wako kama wananisikiza mm -hmm. wajue uh, tulitangaza form 4 ndio wanakuwa wamfika wa kwanza uh, subuhi ya leo mm -hmm. uh, kitu kama saa 5 mm -hmm. na tukue na mkutano nao saa 6. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon mm -hmm. uh, I've invited one of renowned um, uh, the rehab homes in this country mm -hmm. by Dr. Moshiri kutoka pale Kiambu mm -hmm. Kirigiti. Mm -hmm alikuwa liorganize other than a president juu ya kufanya kazi nzuri ya rehabilitation huyo mm -hmm. ndio watu tumecontract kuja kupima watoto wetu mm -hmm. kama wanatumia ile drugs mm -hmm. na wazazi huo tumewaambia wa sign consent mm -hmm. pamoja na watoto wamekubali kupimwa drugs wakati serikali inakuja kusema saa hii tupime mm -hmm. sisi tulianzia mbeleni mm -hmm. but we were very keen tusivunje sheria juu mm -hmm. these are minor yeah. so mzazi anasema sawa nimekubali mm -hmm. na mtoto na sign amesema nimekubali and we test them tukipata huko na ile chembe chembe ya drugs what mm -hmm. do we do we can the same time we refer you to such a home mm -hmm. for rehabilitation so that you become what god intended you to become mm -hmm. now uh, utapata other than that to make surveillance everywhere mm -hmm. cctv cameras shule hizi zingine zikianza kuweka cctv saa hii mm -hmm. si tuliweka kitambo kidogo mm -hmm. kwa kiwanja kule watoto wanacheza unapata kuna cameras zimemulika kule kwa barabara zile ziko surrounding pale or the, the round the school fence unapata kuna cameras zimemulika everywhere in classes kuna kamera zinamulika kule mm -hmm. kuangalia ni nini naendelea mwalimu akue ama asikue there is monitoring 24 hours surveillance in the dorm areas kuna kamera zinamulika kuona 
uh, mtu asikakuwa natoka usiku kulanda anda nje ama kuruka fence mm-hmm. without being noticed na watchman yako so we try to control to make sure that hata uh, uh, kama mtoto ako vile yako can we bring can we be able to change that character mm-hmm. wakati tukiweka zile kamera tulikuwa tunaambiwa siweke kamera za asili i said as a person who is an educationist our aim si kukushika ukifanya makosa mm-hmm. our aim is to make you not to do it Kiswahili usai ma- mazoea ni kama sheria. Kwele. So ukiwa unajua unatazamwa kila wakati. Mm-hmm. You know you'll try to behave. Mm-hmm. So in the process of behaving, you know, as you continue pretending to be good if you have not been good, mm-hmm. unajua inaku, inakuja inakuja inakuwa hiyo ndio mazoea yako, inakuwa ndio tabia yako. Mm-hmm. Mazoea ni kama sheria. Yule you know, mtoto alikuwa mbaya because of kujua anaangaliwa kila wakati, mwisho anabadilika. Mm-hmm. We have changed very many. Mm-hmm. Yes ikweli kabisa na umesema swali langu ambalo nilikuwa na kuuliza na umerijibu vizuri sana kuhusiana na labda ile mandatory testing yes. ya drug test na wakasema kwamba kitu kingine ambao waliongeza nataka uniambie kama is it fair mm-hmm. uh, unajua naweza kuwa labda ni kweli niko na chembe chembe za hizo drugs lakini yes. unapata wanasema kwamba ukishikana kama uko na ile chembe chembe katika mwili wako ama katika damu yako kama kuna kesi labda ya kuchoma shule na mambo kama yale uh, wewe ndio utakuwa held account, accountable Sijui kama inafaa hivyo kwamba ati mimi nafaa kulipia kitu kwa sababu nilipatikana labda nilitumia drug. Uh, ni 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 ni, 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 ni sure kwamba ati lazima nikuwe na hata kama nifanya kile kitendo labda mimi ndio nitekeleza kitendo cha uharifu katika shule. Sasa mm-hmm. drugs. Mm-hmm. I know when I'm on to drugs mm-hmm. they have high probability ya kufanya makosa. Mm-hmm. But it's not always obvious mm-hmm. ati juu umepatikana na chembe chembe wewe ulichoma shule. Mm-hmm. That is not true. Mm-hmm. And I would I can boldly tell any teacher in this country mm-hmm. that is not true. Where is it because you've you've taken drugs mm-hmm. you are a criminal. At the when mwalifu lazima ufanye mambo mbaya si ukweli. I've monitored very many children mm-hmm. wakati mwingine wenye wanatumia hata wengine unapata mzazi hajui mm-hmm. mtoto wake huwa anatumia. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo mtoto ukienda ako, ako very cool ako lakini unajua kuna other effects ya bangi mm-hmm. si necessary atukitumia bangi or any drug mm-hmm. that you become a destructive person mm-hmm. that is not true but the highest probability mm-hmm. ni kuwa unaweza ku, ku resort into vitendo vya si mzuri lakini si, it's a very simple thing mm-hmm. why do you invest in surveillance cameras mm-hmm. saa hii kama ni hiki kitabu kikichukuliwa hapa kama kuna kamera inaangalia mm-hmm. tutaona ni wewe umechukua why should you victimize uh, Uh, student siweke mikakati ya kuhakikisha unajua kile kinaendelea kwa shule mm-hmm. for example in my school Nairobi Tumaini High School mm-hmm. mtoto akifanya makosa kabla hata sija kutuma nyumbani uanga tuna review camera tunachukua ile clip tunatumia mzazi mm-hmm. tunaambia mtoto wako anakuja nyumbani mm-hmm. juu amefanya 1 2 3 angalia wewe mwenyewe ujione ujione mm-hmm. is a simple hapo akukwangi na kesi lakini hapo ukianza like you are a prophet you are prophet you are the one who was there this no don't stop that nonsense <laughs> have facts at hand mm-hmm. na facts is simple mm-hmm. weka cameras mm-hmm. uh, let me say my son siko nataka kutaja hiyo but anasoma hapa machakos mm-hmm. school mm-hmm. Uh, machakos boys high school hapa ukambani mm-hmm. And uh, I remember when I challenged the administration mm-hmm. kwa mkutano pale mm-hmm. uh, unajua uh, mwalimu pale Indimuli is the, pri- the chief principal in this country mm-hmm. Kahindi Muli Kahindi yes mm-hmm. is the principal to my son and nilikuwa mm-hmm. namwambia nika, kwa mkutano open nilikamwambia do as I have done mm-hmm. nikamwambia hapa juu vitabu ilikuwa inapotea potea ndasa nikamwambia hapa tutakuja kuwa na shida mm-hmm. vitabu ya watoto inaibiwa ndarasani kuna kuja kuna kuwa vandalized weka cameras everywhere utashika wale wanafanya makosa kama hii mm-hmm. uh, sure enough mwanzo hakusikiza the first meeting mm-hmm. the next meeting tuliitwa ni domi ilikuwa imechomwa yes mm-hmm. uh, and after that it became a week and a call mm-hmm. ameweka camera sasa ukifanya anything unakuwa spotted mm-hmm. ni wewe umefanya ile that is the way the school should go na nimesema tumaini Nairobi tumaini high school tumeweka cameras everywhere hakuna mambo ya victimization mm-hmm. mtoto akifanya kitu have evidence mm-hmm. kama una evidence as the head teacher anitakwambia please keep quiet mm-hmm. because you are failed in your duty mm-hmm. yes hapo ni, ni pazuri na natumai wamesikia na kuna kitu ambacho umeguza kuhusiana na wazazi yes. i think za hizi wazazi mm-hmm. ni kuimba wanaimba sababu mm-hmm. watoto wamerudi shule na sema ah sasa mzigo imeondoka mm-hmm. tutafanya aje hawa wazazi ambao wanaona kama watoto wao ni mzigo wameachia wana, wa, walimu mzigo huu wa watoto wao Now uh 
ukiza mtoto mm-hmm. first of all you celebrate mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 you celebrate kuwa umepata mtoto mm-hmm. at what point does mtoto wako anatani kuwa ni mzigo kwako mm-hmm. that haumtaki nyumbani mm-hmm. i think there is something wrong with such a parent mm-hmm. i have uh, me am a father of two boys mm-hmm. one is now going to form three, one the other one is going to grade six. Mm-hmm. And uh, who tells you uh, ningeweza kuwapeleka boarding kutoka primary school mm-hmm. but nikataka kuwapeleka boarding mm-hmm. nikasema hebu asome wakirudi hapa kwangu nyumbani jioni tuna interact mm-hmm. i love my sons mm-hmm. mbona mbona niseme <laughs> ni, nisikie ni, naf, nafikiria vile atatoka haraka haraka mm-hmm. baadaye akae na mimi i think there, unless there is something wrong with you as a parent mm-hmm. ukiona mtoto ni mzigo mm-hmm. then ulimza wali mm-hmm. so i would encourage those kind of parents please uh, you are the cause of problem in schools because if a child feels rejected nyumbani mm-hmm. hatakikani nyumbani huyo mtoto anaenda na ile roho ya kusikia yeye hafai yeye hatoshi yes na atajaribu kuprove kuprove kwa wengine kule nje that yeye anatosha na ndiye ataenda kufanya vituko kule kwa shule mm-hmm. lakini akisikia nyumbani anatosha anaf, anapendwa if kama mtoto anapendwa hata akirudi pale shule anajisikia yes I'm, I'm, I'm a good boy I'm a good daughter to so and so mm-hmm. he is proud of himself or herself kwa hivyo ukiwa mzazi uko na kazi ya kuweka mtoto yako confidence ya kujiamini that he or she is good akienda pale shule mm-hmm. will try to duplicate the same so my son is supposed to be going to school tomorrow mm-hmm. and um, uh, when he is leaving i feel the house is becoming too empty I wish if uh, sometimes it was possible kukaa na yeye lakini mm-hmm. now because he must go and uh, ajenge maisha yake mm-hmm. siwezi mwambia kaa hapa mm-hmm. uh, huyu mwingine pia anarudi kesho mm-hmm. the school becomes the house becomes empty tunavunga nyumba tunatoka kuna baki empty mm-hmm. i think a parent should be a parent uh, mtoto akikuja mkumbatie like i do to my sons mm-hmm. i have him i tell them welcome back home mm-hmm. and we sit and discuss mambo ya shule wakati mtoto anarudi ana, ana, shule kama venye anarudi mm-hmm. una commission your son or your daughter mm-hmm na muambia aende afanye vizuri pale mm-hmm. na akifika the first thing always discuss mwanangu umekuja ume, ume, umekuwa mwakilishi wangu mzuri kule umefanya namna gani and i'm telling you what i do not what, what i imagine should be done mm-hmm. in my own home mm-hmm. the same i challenge other parents do that way and you not feed your son when you am your daughter and especially boys unajua ndio naambiwa ndio anasumbua sana mm-hmm. lakini anasumbua kwa sababu huja equip your son to be a good ambassador kuna wengine hata wasichana wanakuwa shida mm-hmm what have you done to prepare mtoto yako to face the, wa- the bigger world there mm-hmm. ustaraji mtoto mwalimu shuleni ndiye anaenda kufunza mtoto yako maadili mema from a to z mm-hmm. as a parent you have the biggest responsibility usipofanya hivyo utakuwa na laumu shule oh shule imefanya oh shule imefanya na wewe umefanya nini so parents i'm here i'm a parent i'm here i'm a teacher mimi uhakisha nimetayarisha wako wangu na wewe je uko nje unatayarisha wako kabla hajaenda inafaa <laughs> sana na sasa tuangalie kitu inaitwa pregnancy test yes. na kwamba kuna shule zinafanya kuna zingine hazifanyi utuambie mwanzo kama ni vizuri uh, pregnancy test, test kufanywa katika shule na after ume realize labda mtoto wako na na, na mimba labda mm-hmm. au mwanafunzi labda form 1 form 2 form 3 mm-hmm. au form 4 what yeah. next kwa huyu mtoto now uh, sometimes uh, fear inaweza kuwa deterrent ya given behavior mm-hmm. nimesema kama kamera zile inafanya mtu, mtu kuogopa kushikwa mm-hmm. akifanya makosa pale shuleni mm-hmm. na kwa hivyo kwa ile hali ya kuogopa mwisho inakuwa mazoea hafanyi makosa the same way tuseme ni wasichana wakijua wakirudi kuna drug test mm-hmm. inamtia ile uoga ya ku, 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 kuwa pregnant mm-hmm. kwa hivyo akiwa nyumbani atajaribu kujitunza mm-hmm. ili asikakuja kupatikana kwa pregnant but at the same time uh, wakati imetendeka mm-hmm. what do you do because me test umepata mtoto wako pregnant do you send that student away from school wewe ukiwa mzazi juta unaambia mtoto kaa nyumbani kwa sababu umekuwa pregnant atungetaka kusikia watoto wetu wanakuwa pregnant before the right time mm-hmm. wako wa mai vizuri waolewe na njia mzuri that is what do, i would want mm-hmm. i would not want to hear for example my sons mm-hmm. wame impregnate anyone's daughter ju wameharibu maisha ile mtoto na wao wamekuwa baba wakati haufai mm-hmm. but as a school what do you do uh, utapata is a subject to debate but personally as an administrator in a school mm-hmm. what do we do kwa mfano kuna tumekuwa na kesi kama hiyo mm-hmm. uh, mwaka jana uh, kabla tujafunga shule in closing assembly kila wakati naambiwa wanafunzi uh, in fact we do combined assembly mm-hmm. both boys and girls mm-hmm. na wewe nawaambia wasichana nyinyi 
Unaona wavulana mnaona hapa. Try the smallest of them. Eh jaribu ulale na yeye, mm. utajua <laughs> anabeba ana serious weapon. Mm. You will be pregnant na yeye atabaki shule ukienda nyumbani. Mm. One time kuna ali misbehave hivyo, kapata ameenda na shule inafa amekuwa pregnant huko nyumbani. Mm. Akarudi pale shuleni. Mm. Na nikajua ako pregnant. Mm. What did we have to do? Did we have to send that student away? No, I had to do counseling personally as in charge of the school. Na kumwambia all is not lost, but mm-hmm. you know the Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. Tumekutulikwambia <laughs> last time usifanye hivyo umeenda umefanya now you can see what it has become. But there is always the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Eh ilibidi ni mwenkaji mwambie sasa umefanya makosa lakini ni wewe mwenyewe ujue hii makosa umefanya will you take it as a lesson? Will you accept to be teaching aid to the others? Uwe mm-hmm. mfano kwa wengine. Mm-hmm. Kuambia ukiambiwa na mwalimu na usiposikia utakaa kama mimi. Mm-hmm. I can assure you I talk to that girl na mpaka akakubali akasema yes, I will teach the others but mm-hmm. this is very bad. This is what has happened to me. Na nakubali kusimama mbele ya wengine akwambie yes, I'm pregnant. I'm cautioning you please for heaven sake. Mkiambiwa na mwalimu sikizeni. Mm-hmm. Otherwise mtapoteza wakati wenu na hali itakuwa kama hii. Mm-hmm. She remained pregnant in school uh, mpaka wakati tulifunga uh, last term, si last term the other term, mm-hmm. you December, mm-hmm. ju January ju hakurudi shule alijifungua mm-hmm. tarehe 5 January. Mm-hmm. Uh, na after that uh, the girl is coming back I expect today. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen baba yake amelipa school fees and the father was very supportive. Mm-hmm. Hakuambia msichana atigua na boat. Mm-hmm. He's a very good Christian. Akasema no, kama ime happen, let's able to one injiri. So the parent was very supportive. Mm-hmm. This other uh, pandia shule was very supportive. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact the father with even without consulting me mm-hmm. has gone ahead and paid the school fees. Mm-hmm. So natarajia msichana nakuja shule leo hii. Hata kuja nimwambia wewe ni mama urudi shule, mm-hmm. rudi nyumbani? Mm-hmm. No. Hiyo hai it's not affecting the brain that mm-hmm. hawezi soma mm-hmm. let her come sit in class and study i would challenge other schools or maybe request other schools please give the girl child consideration even when it happens the only thing is we should talk to them cancel them again and again to avoid this behavior mm-hmm. uh, the same case with the boys to ambia tafadhali jua vile ya kwenda hii maneno in case you are to go that way first of all we preach them it is the wrong thing mm-hmm. but then You see the problem is we pretend sometimes mm-hmm. and tell our children ah, tafadhali don't go the direction ya usijaribu mambo ya sex sawa we tell them mm-hmm. but they still do it mm-hmm. was the best option i'm a christian born again christian but do i uh, do, do i close my eyes to the logical things that may happen just like if you got an accident we tell you what to do in case of an emergency isn't it mm-hmm. Why not tell these children in case this has happened or maybe in case if you have fallen temptation ya kufanya mapenzi what do you do it is in public domain tell boys please learn to use protective devices if you must do it but the best device is Jesus Christ mm-hmm. avoid these things and you will be safe all through na nyi was chana the same thing mm-hmm. you will be safe all through but in case it, it happens please tell them what's the best way mm-hmm. out of it Enao oh, sasa tuombe kuhusiana na hawa wasichana bado tu kabla tuondoke kwa msichana. Wasichana mm-hmm. wanakuwa na ile muda wa hedhi. Yes. Uh, in a month. Mm-hmm. Unapata kwamba hasoa katika shule za public wacha ni sitize hapo kwamba unapata hawa watoto hata wanakuwa victimized na stigmatized kwa sababu unapata labda amepata ile muda wa hedhi imempata mm-hmm. hana pesa labda ya kununua uh, sodo na unapata kwamba hata wengine wanamtumia vibaya labda watu wa boda boda uh, wengine wao yes. si, si wote wa bana watu yes. wengine yeah. anataja tu kwa mfano mm-hmm. unapata kwamba wanatumia vibaya na watumia ile muda labda ku, 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 kupata mapenzi kutoka kwa wanafunzi labda kama shule za labda private mnafanya vipi kuhakikisha kwamba uh, mambo haya yatoki kule na pia wale wa public so, wafanye vipi kuhakikisha kwamba huu mtoto atakuwa protected hata wakati wake wa hedhi thank you um is a good observation ya kuuliza shule tu wanafaa kufanya nini. Mm. I would always request kama ni administration ya shule mm-hmm. kuwa na some kit ya side mm-hmm. yenye inaweza kuwa inasaidia those kind of cases because wale wako hawezi kupata hizi vitu kwa shule mm-hmm. the, the, the school administration knows mm-hmm. and they can hata kama ni private mm-hmm. they can easily create a kit mm-hmm. through the welfare ya the needy. Mm-hmm. For example not a girl school I'll talk about Machakos school again Dimuli pale has provided a, a kit for the cry for the needy. Pale wazazi wote tuna, tunaombwa changieni kitu kwa sababu ya kulipia mtoto maskini mwenye azilipa fees 
uh, some bit of fees mm -hmm. to msaidie internally mm -hmm. the same thing should happen kwa kwa shule shule please keep keep, keep aside a budget yeah in case one kuna nende case ya what do you do mm -hmm. such that you can provide you, because usipo peana hizi vitu imagine ni, 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 ni kitu kama hiyo na sasa ni kitu ya shilingi 100 mm -hmm. na ati mtoto sasa anateseka pale hawezi keti ndarasani hawezi kuwa shule kama ni day school mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya shilingi 100 hasa siku you can always mnaweza kila wakati kuwa na a bit of mm -hmm. that kind of provision mm -hmm. for example nitasema hapa uh, Nairobi to my high school we have fight not only the kuna astana wa community namna ile kuna boys who are need who can can i tell you even today for example mm -hmm. kuna a team of boys utapata pale shuleni wenye wajaenda likizo sio kwa yamefungiwa pale but they come from their homes and say we will stay here in school mm -hmm. we are safe here uh, kama ni chakula na kosa tutapata hapa kama nini and i provide i know it's giving back to the community especially in the private sector you have that social responsibility faida ile unapata weka faida kidogo hata kama si wazazi wamechangia mm -hmm. can you give provide these kind of things kwani ukitarenga 1500 ama 10 per term because of kuhakisha kama kuna case yenye unajua ni need hapa mm -hmm. you just help mm -hmm. and uh, you hautaenda hasara kwa sababu hiyo uh, overall god is the one who brings those children to you kama kuna yeye pale hajiwezi sana si uone vile unaweza kusaidia kitu kidogo tu mm -hmm. yes sasa wacha tumulize tumulike kuhusiana na corruption cases wakati form 1 intake inaendelea unajua mm -hmm. after a few weeks ndo wengine wao watakuwa kiingia na wengine watakuwa umesema kwamba watakuwa kiingia on Thursdays yes. wengine uh, nataka utuambie huwa kunaenda namna gani unapata kwamba mimi nimeitwa shule fulani lakini nikienda kwa apply ama kuchukua karatasi unapata kwamba imepewa mtu mwingine na tutamaliza vipi cases kama hizi kuhakikisha kwamba kila mtu anapata nafasi ya kusoma mahali ambapo aliitwa na shule now pale ulito na shule wakati mwingine hata kuenda kusoma hapo is not a problem like mm -hmm. the problem arises mm -hmm. kwa vile serikali ki distribute wanafunzi mm -hmm. uh, wakati mwingine nitaona kana kwamba do they care to know huyu mtoto anatoka eneo gani na anapelekwa mm -hmm. eneo gani mm -hmm. kwa mfano uh, nimepata cases pale Moyoko mm -hmm. imagine <laughs> mtoto Moyoko ameitwa day school in Kisi day school mm -hmm. in Kisi mm -hmm. utatoka Moyoko namna gani wewe day school Kisi So unapata is like um, for the sake of saying 100% transition. Mm -hmm. Wanachukulia tu wanarushwa rushwa everywhere. Mm -hmm. With little consideration. Mm -hmm. Other than maybe the cream of the society yenye tayari kwa these uh, big national schools. How again mm -hmm. ni bora tu usemekane uko na barua ya kwenda shule. Mm -hmm. Na this is a bit unfair to the parents kwa kwa, kwa serikali. Because kwani how do you do? I would also want to know the way they do it but I will say kama sasa najua tunaitwa kama pale fika mm -hmm. tunaambiwa even private schools come unaweza chukua watoto but uh, sometimes nimesema kama ruiru uh, there is no government boarding school mm -hmm. sasa utapata mtoto mwenye and i can assure you wait even now i'm sure watu wa muhoko wanaweza sema mm -hmm. utapata mtoto ameitwa from muhoko ameitwa ruiru secondary school pale na ni day school mm -hmm. How do you commit from Moyoko to Ruiru every morning? Because majina mnapewa ndio hii. Just pick your children from these lists. Mm -hmm. Now, you just start uh, writing names. How you angali location ya mtoto anatoka wapi na ni shule gani ni ile Skyve is a day school. Mm -hmm. So that we unapata for sure wanatesa wazazi. It is important serikali kuangalia vizuri sana mm -hmm. how are they doing it. At the same time Uh, besides us kuwa na in private sector na tuko na those boarding schools serikali tafadhali saidia mzazi mwenye hazi leta hiyo mtoto yake in private school juu ya fees aspect juu ya money uh, aspect weka boarding school hapa bora tusipate boarding school in mwe, mwe, mwehoko mm -hmm. yule anataka kuleta mtoto pale anamleta bora tusipate uh, boarding school hizi serikali shule za serikali zile serikali geuze some of them to be boarding schools mm -hmm. Yes hata tukisema ati ati the day schools they are good, they are good but sometimes kuna challenge unapata uwezi peleka mtoto body day school because of your own personal reasons mm -hmm. pale nyumbani maybe you are not available unafanya kazi zenye na kugalimu kuwa nje all through who do you take to be in charge of these children and their teenagers so boarding schools that i want to tell you is a solution mm -hmm. to very many families mm -hmm. kwa hivyo nitaomba serikali iangalie their distribution ya watoto uh, na hata kama serikali itakubali kuanza kutupea watoto to in private sector mm -hmm. tafadhali uh, iangalie mtoto anatoka wapi if it's a day secondary school mm -hmm. private secondary school upewe mtoto mwenye anatoka ile maeneo if it's a boarding school me mm -hmm. i can be given from any part of the country mm -hmm. and i will take care of them mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm.
Thank you. Na sasa hebu tuangalie kuhusiana na pia hawa wanafunzi mm-hmm. baada tukimalizia. Unapata kwamba huyu mwanafunzi ameitwa shule, mm-hmm. ameitishwa dictionary, mm-hmm. ameitishwa nini atlas mm-hmm. na ameitishwa golden mm-hmm. bells, ameitishwa vitu mingi sana. Yes. Unapata labda hata hana uwezo. Unapata uh, labda ameitishwa vitu za 20,000 mm-hmm. uh, za, za kuingia intake. Na ni vitu labda hata hata waitumia katika hiyo shule. Hii na tutaangalia vipi kama wanafunzi kama kama walimu labda. Well, niseme wakati kitu inaandikwa pale la zinahitajika sio kuwa kuna kitu haiwezi ifai kutumiwa. Mm-hmm. Zinafaa zote zinafaa kutumiwa. Mm-hmm. But the problem ni mwenye kutumia ama mwenye ku guide mtoto atatumia namna gani. Mm-hmm. Kwa mfano utasema atlas, utapata walimu wengi wa geography baadaye waonyeshe na kwa mtiani every national exam mm-hmm. lazima kukue na map work. Huyu mm-hmm. mtoto atafanya practical wapi? Mm-hmm. As much as tunaenda mambo ya digitalization but to, maybe we need this physical document yenye e, e, kama ni hiyo kitabu yenye kama ni measuring distance unamwambia inapimwa namna hiyo unamuonyesha mm-hmm. practically vile inafaa na tunaelekea hapo kwa practical education mm-hmm. not theoretical only so hii kitabu inaweza hii vitabu inaweza kuwa mzuri sana tuseme atlas mm-hmm. wakati unaonyesha mtu map na kuwa namna hii mm-hmm. kupima kujua distance unafanya namna hii mm-hmm. it is very useful i would challenge the teachers concerned kama ni mwalimu wa geography tafadhali tumia ile kitabu unaharibu nchi kwa kututumia vile zile vitu kwa, kwa sababu sasa tut, how do we get pilots who cannot fly uh, uh, ama tuseme even drivers mm-hmm. mwenye hawezi jua nikitoka mwaoko kuja hapa ni distance kiasi gani nitatumia muda gani mm-hmm. so those things they are necessary take for an example of dictionary mm-hmm. kwa dictionary unapata pale sawa kuna unajua kuna soft copy but you realize practical education wakati unafungua ile dictionary unamjia mtoto for example ikiandikwa namna hii that is the, this is the way it is pronounced mm-hmm. this is the way it is written mm-hmm. it becomes a good reminder kwa mtoto akionyeshwa how to use it kamusi the same mm-hmm. lakini asipoonyeshwa na mwalimu mhusika ndio sababu itasemekana hii kitu si si muhimu mm-hmm. they are all important but at the same time uh, if we can go the digital way mm-hmm. whereby sometimes we reduce your cost mm-hmm. ya yeah, hizi vitu it would have been good remember the laptop project Exactly. <laughs> <I remember. laughs> the laptop, the laptop project in this country. Mm-hmm. Sijui kwa nini serikali iliachilia hiyo project ikakufa. It was a very good initiative. Mm-hmm. Sasa hii tunataka watu waende the, the digital way mm-hmm. na wasome kila kitu IT way. But sasa wakati ile project imekufa, you realize that we are disadvantaging our children. Mm-hmm. Hii vitabu tuna uh, serikali inapeana. Mm-hmm. Suppose hiyo cost yote ingegeuzwa iwe ni proper laptop sim si laptop kwa mfano unajua mm-hmm. there is a good laptop ili mtoto unasema nafunzwa ifaavyo mm-hmm. ama kama ni computers ziweko kwa shule enough computers because i think it would have been good uh, to deal with computers than laptops ju mtoto wa uh, nasa ukimpea laptop mwishowe inaharibiwa mm-hmm. but if the schools are equipped these things wanapelekwa pale lab wanafundishwa kama vile haunuruli mtoto laboratory ya kufanya chemistry mm-hmm. <laughs> una provide those things in school so that mm-hmm. they are taught from there True. and they know how to, and they become doctors mm-hmm. hakuna daktari akona lab yake nyumbani ama mwana, <laughs> we teach them from school the same way these things would have been provided in school mm-hmm. na unapata watoto wanakuwa wanaonyesha vizuri how to use them mm-hmm. and they become competent mm-hmm. so uh, digital way is good but at the same time the, the, the traditional hard way of doing things mm-hmm. is equally good because of practical education and it's about kuna mm-hmm. cbc cbc yes. na hii cbc ndio tutamaliza na, na mm-hmm. labda nitakuita siku moja ili tueleze kuna watu wengi wako na watoto wako labda uh, wanaenda junior secondary yes. hata wajui junior secondary ni gani mm-hmm. hata hata ingawa tuna ambio ma classes ziko za kutosha mm-hmm. pengine wajaona structures zikijengwa tu yes. nitakuita tuweze kuangalia zaidi lakini nataka kutuambia kwamba hii CBC itasaidia vipi na uh, taifa la Kenya tuko tayari kuingia katika CBC niliona president Uhuru Mwigai wa Kenyatta akiwa kule Mombasa uh, wakati alifungua ili kongamano la walimu waku yes. sema kwamba uh, wale wanapiga CBC mtulie kwa sababu lazima itaingia lakini sorry kuni tuko tayari kama taifa kuingia katika CBC Thank you na niseme to be to be ready mm-hmm. kuwa tayari ni wewe binafsi akili yako imeweka namna gani mm-hmm. um, ni kama wakati tulianzisha 844 mm-hmm. 1984 mm-hmm. tuliambia tujenge these uh, karakana kwa mashule mm-hmm. workshops mm-hmm. and it did work it was excellent mm-hmm. watu walikuwa na hiyo pose mm-hmm. CBC nitasema kama vile ime decided hivyo itakuwa hivyo mm-hmm. it can be very good mm-hmm. it is for you as as school administration to be ready mm-hmm. kwa mfano eh, tunasema wana practical education according to your talents mm-hmm. kama wewe ni mwimbaji saidiwa kuwa mwimbaji mm-hmm. pale Nairobi tumaini high school establishing a studio kama hii mm-hmm. ili kama ni mtoto ni mwimbaji we, we help that child to do recording ya music yake mm-hmm 
parents i can assure them mm -hmm. and especially moyoko residents by the close of this year kutakuwa na studio a good one in moyoko mm -hmm. in preparation for 2023 cbc ile mtoto akija pale kama is a, is a musician mm -hmm. can be helped to record na to encourage ile kipawa mm -hmm. kama ni sports mm -hmm. we are starting with the mid this month of may mm -hmm. soccer academy in moyoko kama mtoto anakuja na ni talent yake ni mpira let the child be helped mm -hmm. kucheza kujua how to play that football mm -hmm. ili ajijenge na njia hili mm -hmm. Naona kwamba daika zetu zimeisha lakini yes. sitaki uondoke hapa kama hujatuambia. Naona kuna marembesho katika meza yetu. Yes. Tuambie labda kikombe hiki ni cha nini na utatuambia kuna certificate naona na ni ya nini. Yes. Na labda mkaji wa moyo wako agoje yes. nini ukimalizia. Thank you. Eh uh, umeuliza kuhusu vitu vifaa vyenye iko hapa. Mm -hmm. uh, nilikuwa nimejitayarisha kwa sababu ya kujulisha mkaji wa moyo wako mm -hmm. that niko a competent leader. Mm -hmm mwenye naomba kuwaongoza ku nyinyi mm -hmm. mwenye naomba kura zenu mwezi ya nane tarehe tisa. Mm -hmm. ili nikuwe MC wenu mm -hmm. uh, naomba kwa nini naomba kwa sababu ya what i have done in the past mm -hmm. what i am doing currently na what i will do in future mm -hmm. shida ya wa, wa, wale wanaomba kuongoza wengi wanakupea ahadi mm -hmm. ya uvile watafanya lakini wakwambii wamefanya nini mm -hmm. mimi mm -hmm. nataka kuambia mokaji wa moyo wako nimefanya nini one ama public mobilizer kutetea haki za wananchi. Mm -hmm. Ndiyo sababu unaona hiki this trophy which is here. Mm -hmm. Hii nilipewa na kanisa mimi ni msujiki wa kanisa la PCA mm -hmm. uh, Moyoko Parish. Uh, for the first time kanisa kupeana trophy at because of mobilizing the public. Si ati kwa kanisa. <laughs> mobilizing the community mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya haki yao na mambo ya community. Mm -hmm. Uh, nilipewa hiki kikombe kwa sababu ya kutetea wakati tulikuwa fukwe tunafungiwa barabara pale nika mobilize community ile tukaenda paka kotini mm -hmm. watu wa moyoko wakafungulia ile njia ya Kiu River Road mm -hmm. wakawa saaiwa hata ndio nimepita asubuhi nikikuja mm -hmm. ikawa it is accessible to everybody kutetea kutetea haki za wananchi resources mm -hmm. zenu zile za kwa zinapeana na serikali because of learning uh, the world mm -hmm. nitasema I have, I have been a community servant mm -hmm. I have been a servant to the church mm -hmm. wakati tumegawa parish ya, uh, ya tumaini katoka kanisa ine mm -hmm. nilipewa kanisa ya kwanza inaitwa Shalom PCA mm -hmm. kuwa the first treasurer na ndiyo sababu kuna hiki cheti unaona hapa yes mm -hmm. kuonyesha mm -hmm. I served as the first treasurer 2016 to 2018 I served the church faithfully nika manage the resources vizuri and I started one of the biggest churches Uh, in uh, by then Kimbo Parish and Tumaini Parish mm -hmm. uh, Moyoko Parish the biggest of them it may cover four plots yes mm -hmm. na kanisa ile move very fast within those three years mm -hmm. kanisa ilikuwa imefika lento level mm -hmm. so kama kanisa ina appreciate that I'm a faithful servant mwenye na manage pesa zao in millions mm -hmm. vizuri i can equally assure watu wa Moyoko that even their resources they will be in safe hands mm -hmm. si pale watakuwa na pesa zikipeana zinakuliwa mm -hmm. yes na hii naona ni certificate kuna watu ambao hawaamini now <laughs> <laughs> hii ni certificate ya UDA yeah. ya kuonyesha ndi, niliweza kushinda kile kiti mm -hmm. uh, wakati wa nomination mm -hmm. kwa hivyo chama ikanipea hii certificate mm -hmm. na the final one tunaiendea on Wednesday already mm -hmm. ratiba imetolewa mm -hmm. ya vile tunachukua tunakuwa tunachukua the final certificates pale mm -hmm. Hazla Center mm -hmm. kwa hivyo nawashukuru kwa sababu ya kunipea kura zenu mm -hmm. nikakuwa no, uh, mimi uh, nasimamia mm hicho -hmm. uh, kiti kwa ticket ya UDA in Moyoko Ward tafadhali jitokezeni tarehe tisa pia mnipigie kura zenu <laughs> asante sana mwalimu na mheshimiwa <laughs> na karibu tena <laughs> thank you ni dikuwa gerero doge morori ni gado mono makiria na ni gado kuri producer wito ni gutu gerero da kaisho idano asante sana ni wakoro gituma ndumireli cia kunito gukoto gishimurika na gutigirira ati mwalimu ne yakoro akiona shurishio ne yakoro gushokeria na jirere kia giri dikuma dewika mutsafani ne tuma na ke ne wabo wa gishoke kamera tuma na mudhuri utathakaga na bisha jose valencia na ke mutwerekeli ne ibrahim mushiri na ni jitoka kama wa gide jito gushamania mudhenya wa mudhe hoini dina shara ginya themwe durumeni iharoini tidia mwago thank you mm.